Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And we're back with another Mazoth event guide. This one is for task number three, one with the void. This one involves completing the Mida bounty without using any holy abilities in Anixia's lair. And for the rewards, you will be getting 50 Mazoth coins as well as 25 Nefarian coins. So this one should not be too tricky. We're going to be using pretty much a very similar comp like we did last time. Did make one substitution. We decided to put in Anaconda for a bit more healing potential over Murky, but you could also include Murky if you want. But the nature core is really the important thing here as this boss is killed by healing. And since we cannot use Holy, this is going to be the next best, the next best thing with uh, Malfurion's life fruit staff. So that should be pretty good. I think it should make quick work of the boss. For the equipment, pretty much the same stuff as before. Life fruit staff, lightning rod, bramble thorn totem, appetizers, serpent pendant and toxic venom so we are going to dive right on into the bounty and see how we can get this done All right, and we have made it to the boss here. Let's see, Mida cannot be damaged whenever a character is about to be healed. This loses health instead. And they have some shadow damage void shades. So for this fight, I think we want to deal with these shades first. Um, because they can threaten our blues. I think we're just going to go Yulon, Malfurion, kind of like Brucon, just to get even more scaling going. Cookie or Guff might not be bad either. I think I'll go Guff. This shouldn't be that hard though, because we're on normal anyway. And now if we notice here, this does have a holy ability. However, we are not allowed to use that. But we can use this blazing song ability because it is fire, not holy. And that will help out. Well 
strewn across the world. One annoying thing about this boss, and probably a reason not many people farm it, because it has very long voice lines, as you can see here, and they don't seem to be skippable. Which is quite unfortunate. And as you can see, we're already doing some decent damage here. Let's see, so we're going to do that. This we do this is nature. I'm just gonna keep doing the heal power for now. Seems good. And look at that, Mita's already taking a bunch of damage. Of so this should be a pretty I easy one to do. Across the world. But it is a pretty I neat way of getting around the challenge. All right, so now, now we can AOE. And I guess we healing wave. That is nature, so we are fine to use that. Now damage Mita even more. Echoes of memory. And she continues to talk. Strewn across the world. I remember all I have seen. Summon some more things. We do more healing, and she's dead, and then our AoE cleans up everything else, and that is the fight. So nature made pretty quick work of that task. And that is going to be task number three, one with the void complete. That is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.